Alabama's special election to elect a new senator actually shocked me. I thought Roy Moore would win. Roy Moore did not win. In a stunning defeat, we actually had Doug Jones beat Roy Moore, and Roy Moore not too pleased with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. Yeah. Down goes Roy Moore. Down goes Roy Moore. Yeah. Down goes Roy Moore. And for the first time, that is said in a positive connotation. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> whoa! He has not conceded yet, but he will because he's a loser. Yes. Uh, so we're going to break down for you what happened here, and it's going to give you the numbers. And then I want to talk about uh, why it is that Doug Jones won, uh, because I think that there are a couple of really, really important lessons lessons here that are, I think will affect voting in other parts of the country as well. First, let me explain how the night went, how the election went, and how people were sitting at the edge of their seats. Because as the results were coming in, mind you, most of the earlier results were coming in from more rural parts of Alabama, and Roy Moore had a significant lead over Doug Jones. At that point, I decided I'm gonna stop paying attention and go to yoga and meditate. <laughs> now, once yoga class was over, I was shocked to see headlines that indicated that Roy Moore did, in fact, lose and Doug Jones won. And it was because the later results were coming in from areas of Alabama that are predominantly black. And if you look at the uh, the demographics, you break down the demographics, you'll see that a whopping 96% of black voters voted in favor of Doug Jones. Now, I wanna give you some more uh, details into that and other demographics in just a second, but Jenk, thoughts? Yeah, so two things about that. Before I get to the African American votes, my, my main uh, reaction, first of all, during the voting was, I, I love it. and and. You see it going and you know that it's not happening in real time. It's just a matter of when they count the votes. Mm -hmm. But first, Doug Jones is leading, right? Then Roy Moore takes a big lead, but that's because his counties were counted first, right? right. And then at the end, uh, uh, the important counties that were more for in, in favor of Doug Jones gets counted and he wins. And it looked like for a while that he had only won by 9,000 votes, by 0.7 points. That's when I did a video on it that you might have seen on YouTube. I went, I went live. Uh, on YouTube there, and then, but by the end he won by 1.5 uh, points. So the, uh, I know that uh, Roy uh, Moore is asking for a recount, but you only get a recount if it's within 0.5. And by the way, I really, really believe in recounts. I, I know they cost a little bit of money, but I don't think that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's just this margin was actually wide enough that you really don't need a recount. And even the Republican uh, officials in Alabama are going, no, it's not gonna make any difference at all. So my main, uh, Reaction was one of tremendous relief. Oh, yeah! It wasn't like, oh my God, Doug Jones got in, and it's uh, he's such a wonderful guy. You know, Doug Jones is great in some ways, which I'm going to get to in a sec. Um, but so it's not a knock on him; it's just not like not like some. You know, For a progressive, great. he is not an exciting candidate. It's just that he is a decent candidate when you try to put him up against someone like Roy Moore, who, for the billionth time, I want to reiterate, has been accused of molesting women when they were teenagers. Yeah. So for me, this was not so much about politics, but trying to maintain some human decency in the country. That's what this election represented for me personally, because as we know, Alabama is a deeply red state, and it's not like any. Any Democrat who does manage to get elected there is some crazy progressive. No, I, again, I just wanted this election to turn out the way that it did because I wanted to believe that there are people out there who will reject someone who has been accused of, of molestation. Yeah, and so I, I sense uh, I had a sense of relief, not just for me. I, it wasn't that; it was more for America. That hey, we're not. It turns out we there is a bottom of the barrel. I keep talking about how the Republicans don't have a bottom of the barrel. We found the bottom. We found the bottom of the barrel. It turns out if you're against different religions, you don't believe in the Constitution. You're against black people. You're against Jews, as he did at the end. Although he does have a Jew lawyer. <laughs> That's what they said. That's unbelievable, right? And and you do child molestation. Well, then we have found the bottom, right? And right. you know what? I got maybe some of you won't believe this. But I breathe a deep sense of relief for Alabama. Mm. 
Because mm -hmm. I want to believe in Alabama. I'm, you know, look, I look at the Alabama Republican voters and I, I get discouraged, right? I've seen the polling on their beliefs, etc. On the other hand, I love this country and I love the South and, and, and I want Alabama and Mississippi and Kentucky and all these different parts to do the right thing by themselves. Like, like it will actually help you not to have Roy Moore, etc. Now, but I'm not under the illusion that. Doug Jones is, for example, going to make a policy difference on the tax cuts. <laughs> They're in a panic right now to pass them anyway, and they will. But it was more of, thank God, there is at least some decency in the voters more than anything else, which leads me back to the African American vote in this race. Well, they voted in a greater percentage than their percentage of the population, meaning that their voting voter turnout was above average, above their representation. And made the one and a half percent difference. Yes. And 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 to, and why? It goes to my central thesis. If you give if you get people excited and give them a reason to vote, they will show up and vote for you. And voter turnout is the most important thing. Not how, how the state is broken down because the state uh, Republican Alabama is deeply Republican. If you just gone on based on you know on those percentages, Roy Moore would have won. But more Democrats, more African Americans showed up. Uh, to vote for Doug Jones. So why, even though he's not the world's biggest progressive or anything? Because partly because Doug Jones stood up for black people. He convicted uh, members of the Klan who had murdered uh, innocent black people in Alabama. He stood up for them, so they stood up for him. Mm -hmm. See, it's not that complicated. You actually deliver for the voters and they deliver for you. Don't yell at the voters, do something for them. That's and in this case, uh, Doug Jones did something wonderful for them, and they led him to victory. That's exactly how democracy is supposed to work. Right, uh, and obviously, you know, doing something for uh, your voters, for your constituents, will convince them to go to the polls and vote for you. But I I'm sure it also helped Doug Jones that you know Roy Moore was openly against uh, you know amendments to the Constitution that uh, did away with slavery, you know those types of things. Like Roy yes. Moore was very openly hateful towards uh, specific groups of people, specifically black people. And so um, I, I don't think that that was the primary reason why they went to the polls. I do think that they uh, did want to go out there and support Doug Jones, considering his past and what he managed to accomplish. Um, but I also want to you know draw some attention to other trends that we saw. In this election, that helped put Doug Jones over the edge because a 1.5 margin is not that big, right? No, it's small, very and, small. And so the black vote absolutely mattered. But you know what also mattered? Uh, the Republican women who decided, no, I'm staying home, right? Mm -hmm. And also the Republican women who flipped and decided to vote for Doug Jones. So uh, we'll get to those numbers in just a second. Overall turnout was 40.4%, okay? Which sounds low, but it was a special election. Usually special elections and midterm elections don't draw many voters to the polls. So it's it's pretty significant. Now, while 99% of voters who favored Democratic controlled Senate backed Jones, a slightly smaller 91% of those who favored Republican control backed more. Jones's 6% support among that group helped him make up the difference. Okay, so the people who identify as Republicans would prefer to have a Republican senator in that seat decided, no, we just, we can't have Roy Moore. So they decided to vote against him. So before you get too encouraged about Alabama Republicans, understand that 91% of them held. They held for Roy Moore and they didn't mind the molestation, they didn't mind all that stuff, they were still on board. But all of that, uh, Attention paid to that issue, among others, you know, all of his other issues and problems, etc. It, it stripped away, you know, nine percent, six percent of which we went to Doug Jones, and that's your one and a half percent difference. Right. So it did make a difference. That's why fighting back and and letting and doing aggressive campaigning makes a giant difference. A lot of times, Democrats play patty cakes, mm -hmm. and they say, "Oh no, civility is more important." No, no, making sure the other guy loses is more important. So, and they did a great job of that here, credit where credit is due.
All right, so let's go through uh, some of the other uh, poll results that I found fascinating. Let's take a quick look at gender. If you look at uh, the male voters, which accounted for 49% of the voters in this election, 42% of them supported Jones, 56% of them supported Roy Moore. So when it came to the male voters, uh, the majority of them did favor Moore, but it flipped when it came to women. 57% of the female voters uh, supported Jones. 41% supported more. And look, 51% of the voters were women. So uh, they showed up to vote, it made all the difference. Right, uh, let's take a look at uh, sex by race. So uh, m men and women based on their race, when it came to white men, 26% of them voted for Jones. 72% voted for Moore. When it came to white women, 34% were in favor of Jones, while 63% were in favor of Moore. So, uh, you know, the the focus on white women, I, I, I want to kind of elaborate on that in just a second. But when you compare the white vote to the black vote, you see a world of difference. With black men, 93% of them were supportive of Jones. Uh, with black women, 98% were supportive of Jones. So overwhelmingly, the black vote went in favor of Doug Jones. Now, let's talk about uh, white Republican women uh, in the state of Alabama. I thought this was actually pretty interesting. 58% uh, of Alabama women voted for the winner, Doug, uh, I'm sorry, Democrat Doug Jones, including 35% of white women, according to exit polling. It's more than twice the 16% of white Alabama women who voted for President Barack Obama in 2012. So while the, the percentage that I showed you is still disheartening, 63% is pretty high, uh, you do see uh, Republican women um, now kind of realizing there's something going on with the Republican Party they don't like. So more of them voted in favor of Jones uh, compared to uh, the percentage of them who voted for Barack Obama. So again, as we're encouraged on a, on a day like this, still an overwhelming majority of the white folks in Alabama voted for Roy Moore. With all of the things that we have discussed that were his problems, they still voted for him in big numbers. But uh, that number going from 16% of white women voting for the Democratic candidate to now 34%. Well, you can do the math on that, that's more than doubled. And that's a giant difference and definitely another thing that swung this election. If you had not reached white women who normally vote Republican, you wouldn't have won. By the way, that goes to my thesis number two. And how many times did I say on the show, at some point Trump and these Republicans are gonna lose that mom in Kansas. You did say that, however, I don't wanna get too encouraged by what just happened because I do see this special election as a bit of an anomaly. And what I mean by that is, I mean, who knows? There might be, you know, just a plethora of Republican candidates who are accused of similar things. I don't think so, but you know, this was a very unique election where you had this guy who was banned from malls in Alabama because he was chasing after teenage girls, who was accused by multiple women of molestation when they were teenagers. I think that's what turned them off. I don't think it's necessarily Roy Moore's policies. Well, so real quick, two points on that. One is that um, I just uh, read a poll earlier in the week that uh, Trump's approval rating among white Republican women has dropped by five points in the country nationwide. And five points is a big, big drop in a, in a short period of time. So he is losing them on a national level, it's not just Roy Moore. On the other hand, for all the people, I agree with you, Anna, that all the people who are saying these results are shocking, unbelievable, uh, miraculous. No, it's not miraculous. The, the election uh, was close to 50 50 on election night because of the anomaly that Roy Moore is a particularly monstrous candidate. Right. It wasn't like a normal election in Alabama where a Democrat beat a Republican. There was one other group that made a difference in this uh, election, and it was young voters. In fact, we would. <laughs> what did I tell you though? What did I tell you? When oh, I, you told me this? Uh -huh. No, 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 I did tell you this because okay. whenever I get down about what's happening in the country, I remember the homies, right? <laughs> like I remember the people in my demographic who grew up in the information age, who do their own research, who are the cord cutters, who want to investigate things, who are suspect of anything that they're told, right? They're paying attention and they're different, even if they identify as evangelicals, they're different from the generations before them. And that gives me hope, but yeah. Go ahead. So now, in this election, in the deep, deep red state of Alabama, 
Uh, 13% of the voters were aged 18 to 29, and 22% of the voters were aged 30 to 44. So you, you put those together, it's 35%, a little over a third of the voters are under the age of 45, okay? And how do they vote? As you see there, 60% of 18 to 29 year olds voted for Jones, and 61% and of 30 to 44 year olds did. So in essence, a little over 60% of people under the age of 45 in Alabama voted for the Democrat. Let me repeat that. In the reddest state in the country, people under the age of 45 voted 60% in favor of the Democrat. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? And every year this gets worse for the Republicans. So we can do another trademark Young Turks gesture here. Now when, you have, when you've lost some of the Republican women you used to count on, and and you're starting to reel when you get a Demo high Democratic turnout. When you they get excited about voting for someone, usually progressives, you, you're the Republicans are in big big trouble. But now that every day there is more younger people who are progressives, significantly so, even 60 percent in Alabama. Here's what I have to say to the Republican Party very very soon. Let's go to a wide shot, Anna. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are toast. We have the younger generation in Alabama. We have them in Alabama. What are you going to do? Go, go, run, run. See if you can find more 68 year olds, 78 year olds, 88 year olds. Yes, for people above the age of 65 in Alabama, they voted 60% for Roy Moore. Have at it, Hoss. Have at it. The old, aging, white, Christian, evangelical male vote in the South is all you got left. In a poll today, Donald Trump's down to 32%. You guys are in more trouble than you know what to do with. You have no idea what kind of trouble you're in if you're the Republican Party. If you like this video, bless your heart. We got a lot more where that came from. We do a full show every day, Monday through Friday. Come enjoy it ad free by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.